Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in to today's episode of Articulate Thoughts. And Articulate Thoughts is a personal blog of mine where I share some thoughts, ideas, experiences, and observations about conscious dance, which is a movement practice that uses dance as a form of moving meditation. And today's topic is, it's never forever. And the whole notion that everything is constantly in motion, everything is constantly changing, even if it's on a microscopic scale and you don't notice it, it is happening. And music is a very perfect example of this because, you know, it's so very easy to get swept away and get, you know, pulled into the experience of music and not really pay attention to all the changes and all the transitions and transformations and transmutations of sound. And if you are particularly in the mood of dancing and you're moving with the music, then you could feel that within the body too. And that's a deeper experience, a deeper knowingness of this concept that nothing is forever. And it's something that I've talked about multiple times and it's you know a very common theme in a lot of different philosophies or different you know, schools of ideas. But today it's particularly relevant for me and I just decided to talk about it and just kind of share within the context of dance and music and just share some different ideas. Now, I particularly like dance music a whole lot and one of the reasons is that concept of, you know, slow changing, you know, automation is used very heavily in uh, electronic music. And, you know, there's, with the in innovation of technology on computers, it's allowed musical artists to focus more on the overall sound instead of spending time and energy perfecting the skill off one particular instrument. And I find this very appealing because it just allows for another dimension of creativity to take place. And, you know, it's very interesting to me too how all these artists have access to the same spectrum of sound, but, you know, they're always able to create something new and innovative and fresh <coughs> and express their own ideas in that sort of way. And dance is a, is a very similar thing too. There's a particular set of movements that we could all have access to, but you know, it's just a matter of tuning in and feeling into how we want that change to be expressed. And sometimes that change is expressed through stillness. A very solid pose or a fixed position that you know exudes some type of emotion. And right now, my mind is moving very fast. It's very much in motion and change. And to be quite honest, I didn't put a whole lot of thought into uh, today's episode <laughs> because there's a constant suck. There's a lot of change happening in my life right now. And I'm trying to find stillness by being is isolating myself. I'm just trying to do my own thing, you know, go to work come home and focus on what I want to be focusing on, which is a lot of um, art lately, a lot of yoga, and uh, dance is definitely a part of my regular practice. But uh, yeah, it's just this thing of, it's very inevitable that change is going to happen. And dance for me is really important because it allows me to recognize that if I stand still and stay in that fixed position, it is a form of expression, but I can't stay there for too long. There always has to be a movement, something in motion. And yeah, there's a thing of uh, in boxing, there's a thing called rolling with the punches. And it's kind of like, instead of just standing still and getting hit and absorbing the full impact of that punch, what can be done to mitigate a bit of that damage is to kind of move with it, to roll with it. The, they call it rolling with the punches. And it's a technique that requires, you know, a lot of precision in timing and execution. And I think life is, a, is the same way. It's uh, this thing where you gotta be very self-aware and be observant enough to see what's coming up and be able to predict. Uh, what is in the in, in the near and immediate future? So, when things do happen, uh, the the mind and the body can move with that punch and 
not absorb as much of that shock. And also just to, you know, as Bruce Lee put it, to be like water, you know, to be not a fixed form, but be an element that could take shape of many forms that were put into a bottle, you become the bottle. If you put it into a cup, you could become the cup. If you put it in a teapot, you become the teapot. So being flexible, being malleable, being adaptive. Uh, I think being adaptive is a very strong trait to have. And conscious dance allows me to practice that idea, that notion. So yeah, there's been a lot of rambling and a lot of not so thing. First time I'm recording a video while walking and trying to figure out where I'm walking and not bump into people or things. But uh, anyways, I, ho I hope this has been at least a little bit engaging of an episode for the viewers, all five of you. <laughs> Anywho, um, so tonight I will be dancing at 7 p.m. at the Central United Church. And this is the third uh, installment of a five dance series. So today's class is, so the name of the series is called Road to, Com to Compassion. And we've danced fear and anger, and today we'll be dancing sadness. Next week will be joy, and the week after will be compassion. So I'll put the details in the Dropbox below. And if you're interested, come check it out. If not, inshallah, I'll see you on the dance floor or elsewhere. See ya!